Gaza is absolutely beautiful. The landscape is amazing and the people even more so. Um, it's incredible to see that people who have absolutely nothing, and when I say nothing, I mean nothing. They don't have um, televisions or cars or anything like that. Welcoming you in your, into the home, um, using the most beautiful um, plate they have to give to their guest, to actually um, go out of their way to find you some food uh, that is to your taste. It's beautiful to, ask, to see their interest into other people. They ask me everything about Holland and they ask me, oh, I saw a picture of the windmills and they start talking about that. The little children want you to um, teach them words in English or in, in Dutch and, and in other languages that you may speak. Um, they make you paintings about everything and it's amazing to see them uh, want to play with you. Um, the hospitality of a people who have every right um, to be disgusted and angry by the silence of the international community is something, is the, is the most impressive thing I ever experienced in my life. Um, I'm here to join the Gaza flotilla and sail to Gaza to break the siege that Israel poses on it. Um, I'm here because I spent 16 months in occupied Palestinian territories for my research. The human rights uh, abuses that I saw there are the reason that I'm taking action right now. Um, the siege on Gaza is not human right. It's not the siege on Gaza is not self-defense. It's a collective punishment of 1.5 million Palestinians. They are denied their basic rights and their basic access to medication, and for their daily food and drink, they are dependent on what Israel sometimes and uh, only irregularly lets in. The most shocking thing I saw in Gaza was the absolute disregard of human rights shown in, for example, the beating of small children, um, the det detonation and the imprisonment of people under 16 for no apparent reason, shooting at farmers with, uh, who are only, their only crime is cultivating their fields. Um, there is no, it's completely random and they let, for example, one day they let sugar in and the other day they let pasta in, um, they do not let school books in. Children are denied education, they're denied to build a future, they're denied to dream. When you see such human rights abuses, writing articles or visiting academic conferences is not enough anymore. If international community and governments fail to secure human rights, it's a citizen's duty to speak up and to take action. As an anthropologist, I want to do more than just talk to universities. I want to communicate my research results and my experiences as a researcher to a broader public and explain to them what's going on in Israel and occupied Palestinian territories and right now in Gaza. In the past, crimes against humanity have occurred while the international community stood by and was silenced. This is happening right now and we cannot claim that we do not know it. It is our duty to speak out. If not, you are agreeing with it. Silence is complicity. Uh, in Gaza I met a mother of a young boy with a heart disease. She had to bury her child, um, with, even though he could have been saved with a relatively simple uh, medical uh, operation that could have done, been done anywhere else in the world but Israel did not let, allow the boy to get out. I've seen, I've seen people having to live in tents next to the house, their destroyed houses. It's more than a year later after the attack on Gaza and people cannot rebuild their houses. They live in tents in the places where they lost their loved ones. Um, young boys, age 16, 17, detained for three or four years without getting charged or ever seeing a lawyer. I've seen families being torn apart with one person not able to leave Gaza and the other person not allowed into Gaza. There are people who haven't seen their husband or their child or their mother for two or three years. There's a, uh, a man who uh, studies and works in England who uh, lost his mother during the siege and he has not yet been able to go back to visit her grave. This is not security, this is human rights violations and collective punishment of a civilian population.